The myrrh comes from a, a tree called the camiphora tree. And the camiphora tree is an interesting tree. It's a thorny tree that grows in uh, the Arabian Peninsula, North Africa, and in India. So the bark of the camiphora tree is pierced. Out of it comes the sap. The sap immediately coming out of the tree forms what is called a tear, and the tear is a dark red color as it's contacting the air, and ultimately it looks like this, and that is myrrh. The extract from the myrrh is an antiseptic. It can be used to cleanse a wound. It is also a powerful healing agent and is one of the most powerful healing agents in the time of Jesus. It also could be formed into a, a very a fragrant perfume, but its biggest use was in death, and it was formed as a spice in death to overwhelm the stench of decay in a human body. So the myrrh tree, crowned with thorns, bleeds a healing, death-overcoming flow. Thus Jesus, crowned with thorns, now pierced bleeds, as from his wounds crimson flows to purify the sin-stained soul, healing all disease and woe. His blood the balm for death's decay, a fragrant aroma of heaven's grace. The Magi somehow knew this king would defeat death and bring 